The history of women in the Russian armed forces is dense and rich with many examples of bravery. However, in the early 2020s, the number of women is significantly reduced compared to the early 2000s. The literature on the subject is not abundant, so the treatment of the topic will unfortunately be quite short. What are the main characteristics of the place of women in the Russian military? In 2018, there were 44,500 women in the Russian armed forces. As of May 2020, there are about 41,000 women on duty, or just over 4% of the active duty forces. In the 2000s, the same rate was about 10%. The current rate of women is far below that of most Western countries. Women make up 16.5% of the armed forces in the United States, 15.5% of the French army, and in China, the female rate is reportedly about 9%. It should be noted that conscription into the Russian army, although mandatory for men aged 18 to 27, does not apply to women. While foreign men are allowed to join the Russian army, foreign women are not. Women serve in units alongside men. The rule does not seem to require that units be separated by gender. Separate barracks are set aside for women. The cost of these facilities is often cited as a reason for the small number of women. Although there is a widespread presence of women in all branches of the Russian military, they are not allowed to serve in all roles. The full list of missions not allowed to women is not public. However, it is possible to know that Russian women are not allowed to serve in frontline combat roles, as mechanics, or in sentry duties. For the most part, enlisted women served in communications, medicine, psychology, or as clerks, musicians. Of the 41,000 women in service, about 4,000 were officers, including 44 colonels. If women serve at a rank higher than colonel, it is not reported. More women are serving in civilian roles. As of 2018, there are 315,000 women serving in civilian roles in the Russian Department of Defense. For comparison, in the French military, women serve in all specialties and at all rank levels. More than 14% of them are officers. Women make up 37% of the civilian workforce of the Ministry of Defense, which is also a larger share than the military workforce. Part of this low rate can be attributed to Russia's more traditional view of gender roles. In addition, outside the military, 450 professions are currently prohibited for women. The reasons for these bans are to protect women from overly strenuous activity that can interfere with the ability to bear children. When women serve in the Russian military, they do not escape traditional gender stereotypes. It is not uncommon for the Russian Ministry of Defense to hold beauty or cooking contests among its female recruits. Fear of gender-based violence may also play a role. Cases of rape and sexual assault, also against men, are common. There are also very violent practices of bullying and hazing, known as didovshina. 
This practice is recognized as a serious problem in the Russian military. In 2006, the Russian military reported 292 deaths related to this practice alone. It seems that women's competence for military service is regularly questioned in public discourse. In the few cases where women serve as pilots or in other restricted roles, they have had to send a letter of motivation to the government to obtain special permission. At the same time, it seems that these women are disproportionately highlighted in the Russian media, inflating the perception that female representation is robust and unrestricted. All in all, it does not appear that civil society pressure is sufficient to significantly alter the status quo of women's service. Russia's current military strength is around 90 to 95 percent. This rate is satisfactory and does not indicate a crying need for manpower. Increasing the proportion of women in the Russian military, however, could help Moscow move toward professionalization. In 2014, the Ministry of Defense set a goal of 80,000 female personnel by 2020. It must be noted that by 2022, this goal has not been reached. The role of women in the Russian armed forces remains limited and gendered. Significant obstacles indicate that this situation will continue. Lack of pressure from civil society infrastructure costs associated with gender mainstreaming, violence and sexual assault, and pervasive views on gender among senior officers and the public all act as barriers. Unless there is a shift in public opinion regarding traditional gender roles, or a demographic trend that reduces the number of service age men, a substantial increase in female representation does not seem likely in the short term.